everyone, my name is Kyle Kenneth Aguilasola and I am the reporter for the introduction of the medieval art. The Middle Age or the medieval period lasted from 5th to the late 15th century. It began with the fall of the Western and Roman Empire and ended with the start of the Renaissance. The history of medieval art is expansive and covers a wide range of centuries and genres. Medieval art was prominent in European regions, the Middle East, and North Africa. And some of the precious examples of art from the Middle Ages can be found in churches, cathedrals, and other religious doctrines. Also prominent was the use of valuable materials such as gold for objects in churches, personal jewelry, backgrounds for mosaics, and applied as gold leaf in man manuscripts. Medieval art is a mixture of Roman, Middle Eastern, and European influences. Medieval artists include painters, illuminators, calligraphers, sculptors, and builders of architectural structures. That's all for the introduction of medieval art. Thank you! Hi everyone, I am Janelle K. Testeribio. So we are going to determine the characteristics of medieval art. Number one, it has religious themes and icons. Second is this lack of emotion. Third is the disproportionate and of little perspective. Number four is the usage of vibrant colors, often gold. And number five, it is flat, two-dimensional painted figures. And number six, it is the forbidden usage of nudist paintings and sculptures. So in this period, the medieval period, has three different styles. The Byzantine art, the Romanesque, and lastly is the Gothic art. Byzantine art. This style is attributed to the Byzantine Empire, which was the western part of the Roman Empire. When the Roman Empire collapsed in 476, the Byzantine Empire continued to thrive until it falls under the hands of Turkish in 1453. The Byzantine art comprises the body of Christian Greek artistic products of the Eastern Roman Empire as well as the nations and states which inherited culturally from the empire. The artwork is focused on religion by the means of turning religious concepts into artistic terms. Byzantine art is or was conservative in nature, and much of it was characterized by the lack of realism. Artworks made by this period are church interiors and cathedrals, which influence many future cathedrals in other parts of the world. Icons in where the word icon is Greek for paintings and images used for religious rituals and practices. Third, mosaics that radiate light in where both contain Christian figures like Jesus, Mary, the angels, and saints. Lastly, illuminated manuscripts that are of religious in nature and church services. Now let us discuss about the Romanesque Unlike Byzantine art which developed in the eastern part of the Roman Empire, the Romanesque art developed in the western part of the Roman Empire. The Catholic Church would play a key role in developing this style that would become prevalent from around 1000 to the rise of the Gothic style in the 12th century. The Romanesque churches used art largely painting and sculpture to communicate important things about religion to the people. Romanesque buildings were characterized by semi-circular arcs, thick stone walls, and durable construction. Artworks made by this period include churches and cathedrals that had round arches and stylized architecture sculptures that were created to represent biblical history and church doctrine, murals and paintings that are often erected onto church walls, pillars, or columns that closely represented sculptures in their style, illuminated manuscripts focused on Bible material, and metalworks made from precious metals that were frequently produced to house relics such as body parts of a saint 
or objects associated with Christ like the cross on where he was buried. The last medieval art was the Gothic art style, which lasted from the 12th century to the 16th century. The Gothic art style reinforced symbolic meanings. The church symbolizes the transcendence of the soul and the underlying philosophy is to create the buildings of height and light. Gothic art can often be characterized by stained glass window, pointed arches, ribbed vault, flying buttresses, and ornate decorations. Cathedral exteriors displayed carved biblical tales. The figures are often elongated to fit the narrows that house them. The Gothic art is to help bring back the interest in other medieval buildings or rebuilt. Hello, my name is Kylie Kate Dito Ribio and I'll be presenting to you the artworks made by this period. First, they revolutionized architecture by innovating structural designs like pointed arches, the adoption of ribbed vaults, to flying buttresses. Next, sculptures that evolved into being more realistic and lifelike rather than the stiff appearance of Romanesque sculptures. Next, murals, murals and paintings that became more lifelike and colorized. And lastly, illuminated manuscripts of saints and included the addition of buildings and other architectural elements. These are the greatest artists of medieval art that I am going to present. First in the list is Timabu. His original name is Benzigiani de Pepo, also known as Seni de Pepo, or Seni de Pepo. He was born at 1240 and died at 1382. He is an Italian painter and mosaicist, the last great Italian artist in the Byzantine style, which had dominated early medieval painting in Italy. Among his survival works are the frescoes in the New Testament scenes in the upper church of St. Francesco Assisi, the Santa Trinita Madonna in 1290, and the Madonna enthroned with St. Francis around 1290 to 1295. Kimabu is generally regarded as one of the first great Italian painters to break from the italo byzantine style, while medieval art was scenes and forms that appear relatively flat and highly stylized, Cimabue's figures were depicted with more advanced, lifelike proportions and shading than other artists of this time. Next is Duccio di Buonestegna or Duccio. He was born in 1255 and died at 1318. He was an Italian painter active in Siena, Tuscany in the late 13th and early 14th century. He was hired throughout his life to complete many important works in government and religious buildings around Italy. Duccio is considered as one of the greatest Italian painters of the Middle Ages and is credited with creating the painting styles of Trecento and as the founder of Siena School. He also contributed significantly to the Siena's Gothic style. Then, next in the list is Giotto di Bondone. Known mononymously as Giotto and Latinist as Giotus. He was an Italian painter and architect from Pope Florence during the late Middle Ages. He was born around 1266 and 1267 in Vespignano, near Florence, Italy, and died at 1337 in Florence. He worked during the Gothic Proto Renaissance period and was regarded as one of the most important Italian painters of the 14th century, whose works point to the innovations of the Renaissance style developed a century later. For almost seven centuries, Giotto has been revered as the father of European painting and the first of the great Italian masters. The next artist, Tadeo Gaddi, born at 1300 and died at 1366, he was a medieval Italian painter and architect. He was the son of Gado di Zanobi, called Gado Gadi. He was a member of Giotto's workshop from 1313 to 1327, and he was considered as Giotto's most faithful and talented pupil. Although lacking his teacher's comprehensive aesthetic vision, he was also placed at the top in, in a list of Florence's most renowned painters in 1347. Next is Simone Martini, born at 1284 in Siena, Republic of Siena, Italy. 
and died at 1344 in Avignon, Provence, France. He was an Italian painter and was a major figure in the development of early Italian painting and greatly influenced the development of the international Gothic style. Simone was very possibly a pupil of Dutch Duccio de Buonensigna, from whom he probably inherited his love of harmonious, pure colors, and most of his early figure styles. To this, he, had, he added a gracefulness of line and delicacy of interpretation that were inspired by French Gothic works and that the young artist studied in Italy. He carried to perfection the decorative line of the Gothic style and subordinate volume the rhythm of this line. The Limburg brothers, Hermann, Paul, and Johan, which were famous Dutch miniature painters from the city of Nijmegen. They were among the first illuminators to render specific landscape scenes such as uh, the environs and the appearance of their patrons' castles with great accuracy and sensitivity. Together, they synthesized the innovations of the illuminators and developed a personal style characterized by subtlety of light, painstaking technique, and mini rendering of detail. Of detail. Their trust reaches used the Duke de Berry, unfinished at their death and completed by Jean Colombo, is one of the landmarks of the art, art of book illumination. It did much to influence the course of early Netherlandish art would take during the 15th century. Now lastly, we have Jean 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 he was a French painter and miniaturist and is a master of pa panel painting and manuscript illumination. He is the apparent inventor of the portrait miniature and is considered as one of the most important painters from the period between the late Gothic and early Renaissance. He was the first French artist to travel to Italy and experience firsthand the early Italian Renaissance.